Hello, welcome to the Caltrap Phase 1 tutorial. In this segment, we're going to show you how to log in and some of the basic menu and navigation features of this program. First, let's log in by typing in your county username and password, then click sign in. While we're waiting for things to load, let's go over some of the menus. In the upper right hand corner, we have the search bar. Here, you can enter the address you would like to locate your site. On the left hand side, you have your Find Me icon. This will help you geolocate your current position when you're out in the field with your iPad. The plus and minus buttons just help you to zoom in and out of your map. You can also do this by using the scroll wheel that's on your mouse. The address book here is a shortcut to link you directly to your county. Toward the left hand side, you have your trapping layers, operational layers, and some base maps. The trapping layers will help you to create a feature to add your common fruit trees, ornamental trees, and vegetables. Your operational layer will include boundaries for your counties, trapping grids, and trapping quints. So for instance, if I turn off the county boundaries, you see that the blue lines have disappeared. To restore them, simply check the box. To understand the base maps better, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Let's go to Los Angeles County. If I were to turn off all the base maps, only the grids will show because the trapping grids box is checked. If I enable the ESRI base map, you will notice that the street names and addresses will pop up and outlines of the sites. If I turn on the Bing aerial base map, you will see a satellite view of the area. If we add the vegetation index, we will notice that whatever is red indicates no vegetation and whatever is green indicates more vegetation. This concludes the menus.